Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland at JSA. Joining me today is Mike Cunningham, CEO of Cross Lake Fiber. Mike, welcome to JSA TV. Hi, Laura. Good to be here. Well, I know you have some big news to share, but first, if you could tell our viewers a little bit about Cross Lake Fiber. Sure. Uh, Cross Lake Fiber is a developer, owner, and operator of unique uh, fiber optic cable systems. Uh, generally, we focus on developing new routes that have unique uh, characteristics to them, and, and generally ones that have a, uh, a unique route in that they go through some body of water. Uh, our first project, the Lake Ontario project, goes from Toronto down into uh, New York State through Lake Ontario uh, and provides a new physically diverse uh, and lower latency route uh, from Canada into the U.S. So let's talk about that exciting news I just mentioned right before uh, you started telling us about Cross Lake Fiber. What did you recently announce to the marketplace? Yeah, so we're really excited to announce uh, a new project that we've uh, that we've kicked off called Cross Channel Fiber. Uh, Cross Channel Fiber is a new project to build a new uh, subsea route from uh, from Slough in the United Kingdom to Paris in France uh, via the English Channel. So we're we're really excited about kicking off this this new project and uh, and, and getting it underway. So this is the first cable across the English Channel in 20 years. So what is the significance of this part of the world and location, and why there? Yeah, I mean, the English Channel is a, a very busy place. There's lots of cables in the English Channel. Uh, we will be the first uh, cable, telecom cable, to be uh, constructed uh, in the English Channel in, in nearly 20 years. And it really represents a, a new piece of core infrastructure that will connect uh, these two very in interconnected uh, you know, digital hubs. They're very much the, the hubs in sort of a, a hub and spoke uh, kind of structure of, of the internet. And we're very excited to, um, to, to bring to market this, this really new piece of, of infrastructure that has a, a high fiber count and very high capacity and represents really the, the best in breed in terms of, of technology that you can bring to the market today. So what type of customers will benefit from this high capacity subsea cable system? Yeah, I mean, the, the benefits will be seen by, by really anyone who uses the internet. But in terms of our direct, our direct users ourselves, uh, they're really other telecommunications companies, uh, other cloud content providers, uh, financial institutions, media companies, um, really those sorts of, of companies and enterprises that has requirements for uh, for a, a, a large amount of, of bandwidth uh, between these two key markets. Well, we certainly are excited to follow the developments and, and look forward to Cross Channel Fiber's completion date in the fall of 2021. Uh, but in the meantime, do you have any other future projects in the works that you can share with us? Uh, we do. I mean, the, uh, the next project is obviously the, the Cross Channel Fiber project that will go into service next year. But we do have a pipeline of other projects that we're developing, including our Wally project from uh, New Jersey uh, up into Long Island and the Maple Leaf Fiber project from Toronto to Montreal via Kingston. Lots happening at Cross Lake Fiber. Well, Mike, where can our viewers go to learn more? Sure. You can always go to www.crosslakefiber.ca uh, and learn more about us, uh, learn more about us there. Well, thank you so much, Mike. We appreciate you joining us and sharing with us all your exciting news at Cross Lake Fiber and more to come. Well, thank you, Laura. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking.